I have three young kids at home, five years old, three, and 11, month, 11 months old. For the past five years, I've been in the piggyback business. And what I could tell you is that a good piggyback ride consists of two things, time and undivided attention. I normally start my day around 6 a.m. I take a shower, I get dressed, I walk the dog, I make breakfast, I talk to my kids, and I find things that I need to get out the house. And all that adds up to around 60 minutes. I only get around 10 minutes of time with my kids in the morning. It drives me crazy. Because I have to leave the house at around 7 a.m. to be in work at time. And the mornings, for me, then, are not good for piggyback rides because I just don't have enough time. I work at an agency. I lead up our technology and content and design business, so my job is very demanding. I normally don't get home until around 7 p.m. at night. If you take those 10 minutes in the morning and you take those 50 minutes at night, I have about an hour with my kids. I, I, at night, I spend time with them washing them up and getting their pajamas on and reading them books. So about an hour a day, I get to spend with my kids. So you take that hour a day, you times it by five days, and I have five hours a week with my kids, Monday through Friday. So the weekends are so important for me to spend time with my kids. But the weekends are filled with parents' stuff, like laundry and mowing the lawn, if we ever get to do that in New York, and paying bills. But the one that I hate the most is grocery shopping. <laughs> grocery shopping I hate the most. And look at all this stuff I have to do. I have to make a list. I have to drive to the store. I have to find the items in the store. I have to wait in line. Then I have to drive home, and then I have to put the items away. It's 120 minutes of time going grocery shopping. I don't, have to, I don't have 120 minutes to give. You saw my weekends need to be filled with spending time with my kids giving piggyback rides. So I thought to myself, what innovation could I use to drive more piggyback rides? And I thought to myself, well, Fresh Direct. And if, for those of, the, of you that don't know what Fresh Direct is, Fresh Direct allows you to order groceries online. So my wife and I, we opened up the app. We, we added all the items that we needed. And I have to be honest, I was very nervous at first. I thought my bananas were going to get crushed coming to my house, and my, my boxes were going to get crushed. The meats were going to be old because I wasn't the one picking them out. But I took the leap. I said, my wife and I were, let's do it. Let's go. Let's place the order. And I'll never forget, it was 8 AM on a Sunday morning. We had scheduled the truck to come. And I, we were both laying in bed, and the truck rolled up our block. And we jumped out of bed, we ran to the front door, and before we, can, before we could even open the door, all these beautifully placed boxes were there for us. And we opened the door and we took them in, and it was that moment that I knew I just saved 120 minutes of my time for my kids. And it was so special to me as a dad. I used innovation to create more time with my kids. It was incredible. Now, when you have food and you have three kids, does anyone know what you got? Crumbs, right? <laughs> you get crumbs. And crumbs are, they take away time from me because I have to clean them up, right? Most families have three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But when you have kids, it's more like 10 meals, right? Because you have all the different snacks periods of time. So if you take those 10 meals and those, it takes about two minutes to clean up crumbs, I, I, have, I have cameras in my house, so I was able to analyze over the past six months how long it actually took my wife and I to, <laughs> to clean up crumbs. And it takes about 20 minutes a day. 20 minutes a day times seven days a week is 140 minutes. And like I told you, I don't have 140 minutes to give to cleaning up crumbs. So what did I do? I bought a Roomba. <laughs> I bought a Roomba. For those, of, for, for those of you that don't know what a Roomba, Roomba is, it's a robot that cleans up crumbs off the floor. Right? And whether or not you think that that would work in your life, it works for me. It works for my wife. It works for our family. Because what it does is it creates a moment for us to get out of the house quicker or to have piggyback rides. Or we, we set these virtual walls 
in our house, and we run the Roomba, and it gets its stuff done, cleans up the crumbs, and then we're done. We could leave, we could leave the house, or I could go play Legos with my kids. It does its job. And even my 11th month old knows how to set up the, the virtual wall. You literally just put a little device and you, you press the on button and now the Roomba stays in this little area. And by doing that, I have seen an increase in piggyback rides in my home by just buying a Roomba. My favorite, favorite, favorite one of all has to be voice assistants though. And more specifically, Alexa. Alexa is my favorite. Take a look at my recent order history on Alexa. We have Glad drawstring trash, trash bags, baby fruit pacifier, natural green dog food, a pizza cutter, and a little girl's pull-on ballerina skirt. I could easily see three stores that I would have had to gone to to pick these items up. The first three for one store, the second, the second for the third, and then the third. And the third would have been pretty embarrassing because I don't know what a pull-on ballerina skirt is, but my wife and I told Alexa and she ordered it for us. So time is being saved with every single command. Think about it, what's the weather? Turn on the coffee machine. What's my schedule look like today? All those commands save time that I could then use with my kids to give them piggyback rides. There are thousands of these commands and I'm so excited for the future and how I can get these integrated into my life and into my family's life. If you add them all up, you save time. That's that simple. Some people think technology's bad. Alexa's listening to us. It's not good for us. It's, technology's not good. Well, you know what? I think technology's good because I use it to make me a better dad. I've figured out how to use innovation and technology to make me a better dad. And my wife would say the same about her. It's made her a better mom. So I would say it's up to you how to use technology in your life. How you use innovation and technology in your life, I'm gonna challenge you. I'm gonna say, how will you use innovation to better your life? And when you figure it out, what will you use that time for? So think about that, and I appreciate your time. Thank you.